So I just want to touch on kind of a new concept today that will help you in your rotational figures. So I think previously when I've talked about pivoting actions, we've talked about the centrifugal force. So that's when you rotate around each other, and I'll show that with a, real, a partner real quick because that'll be the easiest way to show this. So we're going to go slightly away from each other, and that'll help us kind of whiz around. Versus what we don't want to do, what we often do when we first learn continuous rotational action, is we're both rotating each other. We wouldn't do that in a run around either. I mean, it works, but you kind of kind of manhandle your partner to get there. So. Usually we have in dancing a rotational figure followed by something else, more of a linear figure or just a couple rotational figures and then into something else. So we have light and shade in our dancing. In that case, we're going to work on a concept called centripetal force today. The last letters being P-E-T-A-L, not centripetal force, but centripetal force, okay? That's what we do to help get our partner around you and stay on the outside of the turn. We need to give them a feeling of where you are and assist them in how much they can swing. So, here's with a partner. Um, if I were going backwards, for example, into a natural hesitation lead, so I'm gonna do the second half, the back side. I'm not gonna go with my partner the exact same speed and distance. So, one, two. Now you're like, well shoot, she's not my arm, I'm gonna make her shape. She can't really go there, and you're gonna feel like she's not with you. You need to anchor that turn. So, I'm gonna do outside edge, rotational figure, so roll onto the foot, Squeeze with the knees, shift and lead with the knees. And anytime I'm doing a picture figure's lead, I'm generally inside of the turn. I'm not outside of the turn or making her go with the arms. I'm just inside and she's following with the knees, okay? Ladies, this will apply to you. You'll want to provide that centripetal force, P-E-T-A-L, when you're on the inside of the turn. For example, in a natural turn, my footwork is lady, is back, side together. Hopefully it looks familiar. I don't want to go with him. Otherwise, I'll end up in essentially a wing position. I don't want to go with him, with him, with him. I'm going to do outside edge of foot. I'm going to delay with the inside edge. Now, I'm going to provide that centripetal force and I'm going to drag this foot and I'm going to swing up to him really hard and I want to feel both hips up into my partner at this point. Show that again. Outside edge, lateral swing, inside edge, and then drag, 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 stay low and feed those hips up to him. Okay, and I'll show that with the partner as ladies. So this will be my lead. I'm following. Good will be here. Monitor and feed. Bad would be going, going with. A little cheat I can do when I'm following is to delay the final step. So instead of counting one, two, three, or even one, two, three, and up, when I'm going backwards, think one, two and then three and now one. So there's never truly a freeze in there, okay? Um, so hopefully that's been a helpful concept. This will apply all over the place, but for today we'll just look at the natural turn and for the second half of natural station for man. Thanks for watching, bye guys.